All right, thanks, Mike. I'm Gail Banks. We're here in the engine room at Banks Power, and I'm going to tell you what we've got cooking for 2019. This is a new Duramax L5P. Some of our friends out there have finally jailbroken this thing. How far can you go with one of these? We are going to find out. We're going to take it as far as the internal parts will go. We're going to take it as far as the external parts will go. And we're going to find the limits. And then we're going to make the parts all those tuning guys need to realize their wildest dreams. As we go through this, I'll be using our new iDash data monster. So we'll be logging every performance increase and everything that's negative as well. We'll know when we're done what's hurting you and what's helping you. And specifically, I'm real interested in how much is the turbo adding? I mean, the whole thing starts with ambient air. That's worth so much. Then you have the turbocharger. You have the intercooler. That adds some more. I want to put a horsepower number on every one of those items. I want to know what they're adding. And then you've got all the piping and manifolding. That adds nothing. It actually subtracts. We want to make the subtraction minimal and the addition as big as it can be and we want the engine to live through it. What are some of the parts that I see that are really obvious? If you jailbreak one of these, you're pretty much building a racing version of your truck to take to sanction racing events. It's not gonna be legal anymore. What race parts are obvious? The first one is this intake casting and this bridges the two cylinder heads, uh, has EGR input into it, and we call it the sad giraffe. Something has to happen about this thing. So I'm already kind of sketching what my, that might be, especially if you're going to a compound turbo. So we already make a replacement casting for this thing for military vehicles but there's no way that thing's gonna fit under the hood of your truck. One of the major things I'm looking at is this damn turbocharger. It's a variable geometry, Borg Warner, has a really remarkable controller for the variable geometry. Compressor has quite a bit of capacity, but I've talked about this thing before. It's the turbine that goes into what I call turbine choke. Uh, somewhere north of 500 horsepower, the drive pressure starts going for the moon. I'm gonna nail this down because I, I hear guys that have jailbroke these things talking about over 600 horsepower. I don't know if I have the nerve to go there because it, it's, the drive pressure we're seeing is pretty negative. So when we find the limit of this turbocharger, then we're going to replace it entirely we may have to make our own mounting foot for it or adapt to the mounting foot that's already on the engine. But we're gonna to to try a family of turbochargers on this thing, trying to come up with the best single turbo setup to replace this that's affordable. The rest of the exhaust system, uh, the exhaust manifold on the right-hand side of the engine has this kind of appendage on here. They, send big time EGR back into the sad giraffe after it's been cooled. Uh, of course, if you're doing a racing version, there's no more EGR. So something has to happen about this. Those are all kind of obvious things. And maybe the last thing here is the vibration damper that goes on the front. We make viscous vibration dampers and have for a long time. Uh, the, I can't show you, but the setup that goes on our military version of this thing is a monster. I mean, it drives all kinds of stuff off the nose of the crank. What we're going to do is a, a, ra a racing version 
with a bolt pattern so I can drive a supercharger off the nose of this thing uh, or a big li liquid coupled pump for a liquid coupled charge air cooler setup. Oh no, by the way, this damper will work on the street. So if you want to do something to improve your intercooling on the street or whatever you want to do, drive an air compressor, we'll, ha we'll have the drive provision for you. So there you have it. This thing's going to go into Dyno 2, uh, and we're going to flog the living hell out of it. I'm not going to intentionally blow the engine, <laughs> but I'm going to find the limit. I'm going to find the fuse. And I'm not quite sure where that's going, going to be. Uh, in my dreams, I'm going to get 7, 8, 100, maybe 900 horsepower out of this thing before it's done in stock form. We'll see. Uh, maybe we'll knock at the door of 1,000 horsepower. Or the crank hits the street or the heads hit the hood. I don't know. We'll, we'll see where we come out. As we get into this, some of our favorite tuners are going to fly out here and be involved with us. I want to show them how we work using the iDash setup, how you develop the turbocharger, how you develop the charge air cooling, how you develop the entire system. We've got a lot of new that I think is going to change the game for all those guys. And here's the thing that I'm really excited about. For years, I've been wanting to do a super turbo version of this. So we're doing a supercharged, twin turbocharged L5P for monster trucks. And you Cummins guys, don't feel left out. We've got some big surprises coming for you. Hang on tight. It's going to be a wild ride. I suggest you subscribe.